Yeah, so welcome back to for your journey. We are on the Tumbling Trail Volunteer Loop. So we are we are at the location where we last left off at Bruce Creek. There is Bruce Creek Falls. So pretty. And uh, we're headed that way. So welcome back to the channel, you guys. Let's go. Right up there, I see the blaze. Let's go and put this camera away so I can get to the top. Now you guys can still go on. It's a little bit of a climb. One thing I've learned about the Tumblr Trail is you're going to be climbing a lot. <laughs> so I think it'll be a good thing to like, good trail to practice for the Appalachian Trail. However you guys say it, I have a like a southern <laughs> accent with it. But, uh, yeah, I think it's a good trail, but woo, let's keep going. We made it to the top. Woo! Wow. Here we go. And there's my blaze right there. there you guys go see it. All right, keep going. Okay. Um. Hopefully, we won't have that clickety clack clack. <laughs> in here but man at the top thank you Jesus <laughs> all right it's pretty warm out here of course I started late I was gonna start real early but I need to do some self-care so yeah I'll let you guys look see what this trail looks like That's not pretty. Nobody knows who G and J is, so please don't vandalize. That is so tacky. I don't know why people do that, but they seem like they just need to put their mark on nature. All right, we gotta go over those boulders. Where's the trail? Okay, yeah, here's the trail right here. Right through here. Take it with me. <sighs> Trying to do the footpath. <laughs>
this bridge is kind of walky. So I'm gonna definitely be very careful trying to cross this thing. Look at that. Just gonna put some more boards on there. This trail is not that old, so we need to take care of it. Now, if you go up this way, this is the Devil's Race Track, if you go this way. But the Cumberland Trail goes that way, so we're doing the Cumberland Trail. We're definitely gonna do the Devil's Race Track one day, but I'm gonna save that for my nephews. I think that'll be kind of fun. So, yeah, so we're gonna go up that way because we are, we're actually headed to, this is called the Volunteer Loop. So we're gonna do a portion of the Volunteer Loop today uh, as our Cumberland Trail, and then I think, we're done with this section. No, actually, I think we have Brady. No. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, we'll be done with this section. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. It's been exciting. I love it. So, yeah, let's go, you guys. You hear a little bit of the traffic. You are close to I-75 in this section, which is fine. I mean, you know, you're, if you're hiking the uh, Cumberland Trail, you're going to have some solitude areas as well where you don't hear anything so and you don't see anybody because the further you go back um the more remote you get and you don't see as many people so these gnats are getting on my nerves but i did have my perithium on so they're not bothering me as much all right let's go You guys see this? Look at this right here. You do not want to do this on a rainy day. And you see down there, that's the bridge where you just came from. So, yeah, I'm gonna put this away so we can hike a little bit. <sighs> that it has not been raining otherwise I would have probably bailed out of this one okay so I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of this did y'all see that so we're going all the way up there I'm gonna put this camera away so I can climb I'll be right back with you all the way up So, I guess we are going to do part of the Devil's Race track. Yeah. Alright. Let's see how we can get up there the safest way. Or maybe it turns. Let's see. I think this is the easiest way. Oh, I see the trail goes that way. Okay. I had to be on my hands and knees for that one. Oh boy, that was rough. Okay, let's get on this little ledge right here. Woo! Yeah, let me put y'all away. Up that way, 
Cumberland Trail is this way. I see the blaze. Ah. Okay, guys. I think we can do this. <laughs> maybe. Maybe, maybe. Wait a minute. I don't see a blaze. Let me go up a little bit. up there. straight on up on there so that's it right there you guys let's get us a view and get us a view. So, this volunteer loop is no joke. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if it goes over, but I think going approaching it from Tank Springs and coming back this way and then getting be picked up at uh, Bruce Falls would probably be our best option. So, hang in there. We'll be back conquer this section. Now, I might have to have one of my, um, wait just a minute, don't feel comfortable uh, climbing those ridges with just me by myself. So, it's not when you start feeling like that, you need to get your partner. Don't try to be a Shiro uh, because a dead Shiro won't get to see anything. So, anyway, I'm being dramatic. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I think we're gonna conquer it from Tank Springs. Is it actually, it goes to Tank Springs and that is the end of this segment. So starting at Tank Springs, um, I think will be the best way for this particular section of the uh, Cumberland Trail Volunteer Loop. Um, yeah, you guys, let me get off this, let me get off this little mountain and scramble down but i'll see you guys when i get back towards the falls all right yep. the way that people can come up i guess you can come up like like i said from the dallas racetrack and go this way but that's not the cumberland trail it actually goes this way so we want to go where the cumberland trail goes
blue blaze. What is this is the tail. Oh, it just came down. Okay. up there that's where we hiked a couple weeks ago we were way up there on that ledge that rock ledge is where we where the trail was for the Cumberland Trail and now we are on this trail bailed out getting ready to go back to the car so all right yeah so yeah so I'm headed back to the car and I just didn't feel comfortable like trying to climb that and I'm going to have to like try to get some of my buddies to um, come out and hike this one with me um, because it is very, uh, it is strenuous, um, but I think it's like, it's very technical, so, which I love rock, rock scrambles, but definitely you got to use wisdom too when you hike because hiking is supposed to be fun and relaxing and if you got to think about it, like super, super too much then it becomes not fun again so you don't want to do that and you don't want to end your hike uh, before you even get started so I think maybe going through tank springs I think that's how you say it um, on a volunteer loop and do it backwards would probably be good um, to try to finish up this section of it I don't think it's much to go I think it's like uh, I think we got 14 more miles of this section to go and if we did the starting from tank springs to maybe i don't know it's be less than 14 miles probably about um 10 miles maybe yeah probably about 10 miles i would think because we did half of it already so definitely um around about 10 miles left so definitely want to try to get this segment finished but i'm going to use wisdom and get some of my buddies out here and we're going to finish up this segment Anybody have any advice, then put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to try to hit up one of our ranger buddies that we made on the trail and um, ask, you know, what their advice is to finish, like, this section. And this is why this channel is called Take Nothing for Your Journey, because it's a journey to Katahdin. <laughs> you would think, because that's, that's a really hard climb as well, but um, when it starts getting real technical, and you know used to doing some rock climbs and stuff but if you don't have the right equipment to save yourself if something happens then um you know you are not you're gonna run your hike and it may not have been that serious i don't know um but i just had a feeling in my gut that today was not the day <laughs> um to do that and probably when i left lost my not lose my fitting but have to be on your hands and knees trying to climb something which is not the first time but it happens you guys so anyway i am headed back to my car and see what else we can get into or do what i can get into you guys i will see you next time so i guess we're ending it until next time see ya